Hi, I'm Daniel. I really missed out on making a negative video on Wish because it seems to be a big mark on YouTube for that. I had to be someone who actually liked the movie and still don't want to rewatch the point why I can't make another nicest defending the movie. Even so, I do admit this movie is very flawed and has your reasons to dislike it. And one of those areas is with the songs. This was supposed to be a big Disney 100 special and a musical, but the songs didn't come out the best. Mainly because they hire people who normally write pop songs rather than musical songs. Also, I heard somewhere that the songwriter didn't know that much about the story when writing the songs. This might not be true, but it could explain some things. They also tried to recreate Yin My Randa style in a way that just didn't work in execution. It says the thing that Encanto has five songs better than anything in this movie. Speaking of, I already ranked the Encanto songs in the previous video. Still, I would only consider one song to be bad, but most being okay. A lot of the songs have potential, but have pure holding them back. So, I wanted to make a video discussing just the songs, so they have four on each. The only problem is most being together in quality. Six to three on this list are close and can be rearranged for stuff in my opinion. Anyway, I want to see what's the best and worst song from Wish and look at things that work and don't fail most. This also helps me not have to discuss the songs when I get to that video in probably November. So, on to the ranking. Seven, Welcome to Roses. So, the following Madrigals were on the weakest Encanto songs, and are 10 times better than whatever this is. It's an establishing song of the location to say exposition, that's yet already shown what the talent to make this feel worthwhile. I would have rather had a more private opening song rather than trying to be a big dance number. Aviana the Bros is a great singer, this music doesn't showcase that well. The beat starts off fine, but it keeps going on and gets tiring. This also has some of the worst animation of the film, with the outdoor lighting. I mostly think the animation is good, but this is not a good start to it. This song is just annoying and not memorable at all. I can see positives in what all the others are going for. This is just a poor opening that should be more important than it actually is. Six, this is the thanks I get. That title for a Venus song is great, but it ends up being a weak song. Especially compared to more comedic Venus songs like Gaston and Shiny, it doesn't hold up. This manages to be catchy with some decent music. And that has a yard meme potential with some of these lines. I need to specify how King Magnifico said, if your house were to crumble, then I would yak you yiffy in this castle without rent. This isn't saying house prices don't exist in roses, but we see why that part will be missed compared to other aspects of the film people missed. Anyone saying Magnifico is right, just imagine a different movie instead. But this is a topic for a different video. This song has poorly written lyrics, and the chorus is just repeating the title four times with Dada Dad's backup singing. The first two thirds aren't good, but the dark magic shift make the song go harder. The last verse of those three to in this town is actually pretty good with rhymes that flow well together. This song gets better near the end, but this could still be better if they sell it in more ways than ego. They missed the easy opportunity to call back to Atwell Cost with a more clear Venus meaning, but they didn't do that, even with a mixed song. It also doesn't help that it's wrong the story is to escape Magnifico from a 3 in vein scales to a 10, which feels rushed. 5. This Wish The typical Disney I Want song feels like it's made to just be that. It's yes be fun than some others, but it's an okay song. The opening verse is a problem with trying to shove too many words in a yarn. They could never replicate Yin, especially when he knew how to make some songs slower. This also has to throw caution in every warning sign, which aside from not making sense just sounds dumb in the chorus. This song is at best but it's not lyric focused. The music is great at building up to the action of doing something, and Ariana Vos singing is so great. Her scream or whatever you call that at the end of the song goes so hard in a big climactic moment. You can also hear the emotion in the singing in so many moments. This is also really cool with Asher imagining people as their wish in the whole location of the tree and are running towards it. This wish has moments of greatness, which and never can I probably always remember as the trailer song. Also, the reprise at the climax is so fake and forced. It feels like they were reprising the wrong song in that bit. 4. At All Cost For context, this was originally a romantic duet between Asha and the humanized star boy. I'm not as obsessed with that concept as most people seem to be, but I do see how it will have solved the problem with this movie I can carry the connections. I think this song still works for showing Nifko and Asha singing about the wish and how it shows their care for people, but yet to reveal it in different ways to each other. The common you pronouns seem a bit weird at first, but I'm fine with it as a way to admire the beauty of the wishes. The orbs floating with a mini video ping of a person's wish is a beautiful visual, and this whole scene makes great use out of that. This feels like the most magical and beauty animated moment of the movie with the way the orbs are floating. While I've heard questions of the context in the scene itself, 
I think it's good at highlighting how both characters are admiring the wishes and they stop paying attention to each other's presence there. It's interesting how protectful Nick created me and Tord to expand on the villain's undertones of at all costs. While in contrast, Ash abused the beauty of them is them being hard to begin with. Both are great singers, but honestly Chris Prine excels, especially here. As for some problems I have with the song, this goes on a bit too long when it's just a scene to introduce the wish and it sounds a bit too much like a generic pop song. The lyrics remain vague enough for that, and there is a mild amount of too many words in one line. Still, this is a great scene with a decent song paying drawing yet. 3. I'm a star. I probably shouldn't put this so high, but it's my yes and I like this song. I don't normally call things guilty pleasure, but this can't fit that because I know it's not good. It's very pointed as it stops the movie for singing animals and it's right after another song. It also sounds like a random pop song with vague lyrics. And some lines are very dumb, putting a fast joke breaks the pace and excited Tory isn't a word. Although I personally don't mind when it comes to the universe with all shareholders. It's a possible metaphor to convey one of the themes of the song. Even with all these problems, this song is just yikeable to me to see most animals sing. Mainly for the turtles part, although the yellow trees are scarier than they should be. I like how bright this all looks in comparison to the more muted kingdom choirs. While the Yivix aren't all good, this is a very nice message. It's an existential song about everyone's role in the universe. And I find its positivity effective. I especially love the young We Are Our Origin story for summing up the film's theme. Everyone has the potential to do something and follow their dreams as we are coming to give me our future origin story. The part about everyone being stars is a bit on the nose, but it's a nice feeling song, especially when Asha starts finally saying I'm a star being satisfying. This is not really a good song if you're being objective, I'll probably piece it fifth, but it is one I enjoy listening to far more than the previous ones on the list. 2. A Wish Worth Making I'm counting the version in the movie itself because while this is only a credit song, it was a cut scene from the movie that may have been its best scene if it was kept in. You know how part of your world and when some of the me were almost cut from the movie for being two seal songs that may bore children? This song couldn't survive that presumption of seal songs despite being less than two minutes. This song is not only a good seal down as needed in this part of the film, but beautiful to use a Beano finally regaining his wish and pure song. It says a yard but the phone's mess of how important a wish is to someone in a scene that almost makes me cry. It's so fitting for its wish for inspiring others and the whole 100 Disney anniversary thing. If this version of Captain in would have been number one, but even Astro's The Quest song is pretty good. It's a nice background with a single form of Disney films appearing in the credits, except Meet the Robinson for some reason, I'm still not over that. It is sung in a Yell Pop song way, where it's hard to hear all the lyrics, but I'm used to mixed quality pop covers of songs in Disney credits. Just that this time, and with all there is to the song for your people, please watch it at you to see if you haven't already. 1. Knowing what we know now. This is the only wish I can confidently call good, mainly for the music. It's catching and intense and gets you pumped over a monarchy. In general, this is a good way to feel motivated and ready to do something. It's also good at showing the rebellion, and how they know different about when they now. The lyrics only feel a mildly false compared to most of this film. While it goes on a bit too long, I don't mind. Its music gets more intense as it goes on, and for what it's worth, these pointed side characters can sing well. Amaya's part is also great, and sounds very dramatic as a great way to lead into the third act. Disney musicals very rarely have songs they say to the movie that aren't reprises, so it's nice to see one here. This fish also does a great job playing around the dark room and shadows. This is just a very good song to listen to, even if most other Disney musicals have multiple songs better than it. I personally consider knowing what we know now to be the best wish song. In conclusion, Wish's songs aren't very that bad when I look at each one. It is just a couple sets for the OER musicals and I wish these songs could be improved in certain aspects. I had more to say in each song than I thought, same with the film in general. For better or for worse, the film worth discussion. I hope you enjoyed me dissecting these songs. If you liked this video, consider pressing subscribe and watching more, except upcoming Wish videos I plan to make at some point. The end.